Okay, so hi, good afternoon everyone. This is Doug again. Today I'm making the other video to talking about the book, the English book in the level 6 of the Oxford Research and Discover. I'm currently staying in the office. I'm still working, I'm still in the office. And after the uh, working time, I decided to make a video to share with you about the Earth Then and Now. This book is still written by Robert Queen. And this book is in the level 6 it contains around 3700 words and now we're going to see what do we have in this book this book we are going to read about eight chapters and there are also one introduction chapter in the first then after the chapter is that the people on earth there are also another activities project and growth series about and then also with about risk and discover Okay, let's get into go into the introduction. We have the introduction of the book here with the uh, let's see. Did you know that Earth formed billions of years ago and our planets had changed a lot since then? The oceans and continents have moved and the plants and animals that we see today were not always here. Some are old and some are new, and of course people are new too. Scientists say that we have only been here for about 200,000 years. Wow, 200,000 years is also a long time. But there are five questions before we dive into the book. The first question is how did Earth form? When did plants and animals first appear? That's the second question. The number third is where did the first people live on Earth? And the number fourth question is how do oceans and continents move? And the last one is what keeps Earth warm? And all of that question can be the answers and we can find the answer in this book. And we can see the as the Earth today is not like the global, the global. And now this uh, read and discover more about the Earth in the past and Earth today. All right, let's go into the chapter one: a ball of fire. Scientists think that Earth is about four point six billion of years old. Our planet started as an enormous ball of fire. How did Earth form? Do you know how did Earth form? Scientists think that Earth formed from the clouds of gas, dust, and rock that was around our sun. The materials came together and formed a ball of fire and met liquid rock. At that time, the temperatures on Earth's surface were very, very hot and nothing lived here. And do you know that the great pyramids in Asia is about 4,600 years old and Earth is 1 million times older than that. Wow, 1 million, 1 million, that's long, long time, right? Okay, how about the Earth layers, going to the Earth layer? Do you think how many Earth layers do you know? Of course, when you see in the picture, when here there's three main layers of the Earth. That's the crust, mantles, and the core. Core is divided into two things. That's the outer and inner core. All right. Let's go to the Earth layer. After millions of years, Earth cooled down. The surface became a layer of raw solid rock called the crust. This is a part of Earth that we live on. Ah, so we are living on crust. The crust is usually about 30 kilometers thick on land, but you know, it's thinner at the bottom of the ocean. And under, under the Earth's crust, there's a layer called the mantle. It's about 2,900 kilometers thick, and the mantle is very hot. Its temperature is about 3000 degrees centigrade and it's mostly made of liquid rock. We call that is magma. Alright, so the last layer is uh, Earth's core. It's under the mantle in the center of the globe, in the Earth. At the center of the planet, the core is about 3500 kilometers across and is mostly made of two metals. Iron and nickel. The outer core is liquid, but the inner core is solid. It means it's hot, right? Because 
That's uh, because the other layers push down on the inner core with the incredible pressure. It's pressed down. So the temperatures in the inner core can be more than 6,000 degrees centigrade. Wow, 6,000 degrees. So what happened if uh, we would jump off in the 6,000 degrees? It's only one moment and we get the thing we throw into that inner core is going to disappear. Wow, in terrible, right? Okay, look at the uh, mountains of fire. Wow, it's interesting. The mountains of fire, we can see the gas and ash from the outside. The ice of vent, lava and corn of the mountains of fire, the magma chamber and a volcano erupting. Look like this picture is like a volcano erupting, right? Okay, let's see the mountains of fire. What's that? There's a lot of heat in earth core and mantle. Of course, I know, I have read it before, right? We can see some of this heat when volcanoes erupt and produce lava. In some parts of on Earth's crust, magma forms underground plumes called the magma chambers. Ah, there are the magma chamber. When there's a lot of magma in the chamber, the magma moves up a tunnel to the surface. When a magma gets to Earth's surface, it's called lava. Ah, the lava comes out of holes called the vents. Some volcanoes also produce lots of gas and ash. The lavas and the ash can sometimes form a tall cone. Ah, the tall cone, this, the outside of the cone is the lava, and the lava is cooled down. Right. Let's discover in 2010, 2010, a volcano in Iceland erupted and produced a big clouds of ash. Plants couldn't fly through the ash, so thousands of people couldn't travel. Wow, terrible. In 2010, eh? that's about 10 years before, right? Let's see what the underwater volcanoes. We, I, I'm amazing that we can see the volcano on length on the mountain. For example, in the Japan, we see we can see lots of uh, mountains of fire. But how about underwater volcanoes? It's mostly different. Let's see what we, we have with the under volcanoes. Sometimes volcanic vents from under the ocean. When this happens, the lava cools very quickly and makes round shapes called a pillow lava. Underwater lava can also build up and form volcanic islands like Iceland or Hawaii. Hawaii, yeah, really, one of the nearest volcanic islands on our planet is Hungar Harpai near Tonga in the Pacific Ocean. This island appeared after a big underwater eruption in 2009. And we can see in the picture here with the underwater eruption near the Tonga. Wow, incredible. All right, so that's all for the chapter one. And after the chapter one, we can know about the earth, how it's formed, uh, how would the earth form, well, how many layers of earth, and what's the, what is the mountains of fires look like, what's the underwater volcanoes look like, and now we go into the second ch chapter, the water and air. Today, water covers about 70% of our planet. Billions of years ago, Earth's surface was dry, and nothing lived here. Earth's atmosphere was also efficient. It all has lots of carbon, carbon dioxide and other gases, but no oxygen. Yeah, oxygen is very important for the people's life. We can live without eating, without drinking. For around three days with drinking, as I know, but without the air, without the oxygen, we will die immediately around one minute with the normal people. Believe me, try and you can know what that's, what's the effect of the air. Okay, how the ocean form? Wow, interesting. The ocean, 
และ thinking about the ocean the ocean from hmm, I don't know let's list let's read the book and then we will know about that at first there wasn't any liquid water on earth's surface but there was lots of water vapor in the atmosphere what the vapor is something is uh, when you're steaming or something like that you can see the water vapor is flowing 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 off and it's um you know it's in the middle in the middle of the air actually it's floating on the air right and this water vapor came from inside the planets when volcanoes erupted when earth cooled down the water vapor condensed and formed clouds in the sky ah all right then it started to rain after millions of years liquid water covered most of our planet's surface ah so water vapors floating first then it's condensed make the water on the surface of the planet let's discover some of our planets water came from millions of ice meteorites when the meteorites enters Earth's atmosphere, the ice heated up and changed to water vapor. Really? Hmm. Okay, let's go to the old season. About 3 billion years ago, something amazing happened. Living things appeared on Earth. Some of the first living things were tiny blue-green bacteria. Here blue green bacteria here you can see the picture the bacteria grew and shell pools of warm water and we can see five their fossils today the fossil some the fossil is something is the this thing we can only can see is in like in the picture or some in on some kind of rock now we can, the fossil look like rocks with usual unusual shapes and they call the traumatolites okay so blue green bacteria use sunlight water and carbon carbon dioxide to make their own food oh like plants do today the blue green bacteria also produce oxygen and after millions of years there was lots of oxygen in earth's oceans and atmosphere today the air that we breathe is about 21% oxygen. We couldn't live without this. I know that. And we can see the stromatolite fossils in this picture. Yes. Salt water. Okay, talk about salt water here. Today, the water in our ocean and seas is about 3.5% salt. Do you know why? Do you know? I don't know. Do you know? I will tell you. When rains froze on land, some of this goes into lakes and rivers, and then into the oceans. As the water moves, it picks up salt from the ground. When the water going, goes into the ocean, it carries this salt with it. After many, many millions of years, this has made our ocean salty. Mm -hmm. Some lakes can be very salty, like Lake Azores in Djibouti in Africa. In this lake, the water is more than 35% salt, and no plants or animals can live here. There, the salt water comes from underground hot springs. When the hot water ev evaporates into the air, it leaves the salt in the lake. Hmm. Wow, interesting. And how about fresh water? We have the salt water. With salt water, we can drink. And fresh water, that's the important thing. We can drink salt water in the Wani Aquifer. This is the Wani Aquifer. Only 3% of Earth's water is fresh water. Wow, small percent, right? So small ratio. About 69% of this fresh water is frozen in polar ice snow and glacier about 30 percent is underground caves and aquifer aquifer aquifers ah, aquifer sorry aquifers between the rocks of earth's crust 
the other one percent is on the surface it's in rivers and lakes one of the largest aquifers in the world is the Guarani aquifer in South America it's covered about one million two hundred square kilometers under Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay, and Uruguay. In this aquifer, there's about fifty thousand cubic kilometers of water. Wow, that's about two times the water in the, all of the Great Lakes in North America. Arouse and scientists say that there are enough water in the Wani aquifer for everyone in the world to drink for 200 years. Really? So, whenever we need water, go to the Wani aquifer to get a ticket. Okay. So, that's all for today. I think that's quite net for today. I'm gonna stop my video now and uh, I hope that you will enjoy the video and if you have any recommendations let me know in the comment box I will try my best to fix my pronunciation and of course as I told you before I will make a group of people who are learning English talking in English together and if you want to join the group with me let me know in the social account, my social account I hope that we can be much better than today. I do this is not only to show you about what's the English, what my English. I also want to record my English learning scale. I mean, I want to. I'm not only making the video like this to sharing with you about the, uh, my passions, my English level, but I also want to record myself. I want to see how improvement um, I from yesterday and for today. So I hope that you also can do the thing like this. It will help you a lot. It will boost uh, your confidence a lot when you're making the video and you're talking about the book or everything in the life i hope that you, i can get and i hope and i really i really thank you if you give me a subscribe and the like and share with this video it gives me more power to do more video like this okay see you in the next chapter in the other video thank you very much and bye bye